Hello everyone and welcome to day one of uh, the September daily challenges being conducted by Edist. Um, every day starting from 24th September, we will be launching one challenge based on the product based companies. That's your Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, those kind of companies, difficult questions. Um, and you know, you can practice them completely for free. And uh, today's question was based on a previously asked question of Amazon. Uh, the problem name is the order. Obviously, it's not the same question. We have modified it a bit and then, you know, uh, shared it with you. But it's the kind of questions that Amazon would like to ask. And it's one of the easier questions that you can find in any product based companies. For those of you who are joining us the first time, let me just show you the rules. Uh, the, we are doing a daily challenge that is every day at 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. We release a daily challenge. It's generally done, uh, you know, once a month we do this. And uh, this is the September daily challenge. It starts on 24th September. That is today. And every day, 9 p.m., we will also release the solution of this challenge. Uh, the first to crack the challenge will be on top of the leaderboard. Uh, so, yeah, if you're the first one to solve it, congrats, you'll be on top. And uh, it's I, this is really a focus towards all of those students who are preparing for product-based companies. You know, it's free and you will come to know what your exact level is. Are you already very prepared um, or you're not that prepared? You need to prepare some more and so on. So it's um, our way of helping you realize what your particular uh, preparation level is. So without further delay, let's actually get started into our uh, question today. And I'll just open it up on the Edis platform. So once you actually click on the above link, uh, this is the kind of uh, interface you'll see. This is the Edis platform. Obviously, I've zoomed in a little bit, but uh, this is what you'll end up seeing. And uh, this is the introduction. You must read these rules. Uh, Without reading these rules, you will not get a top spot on the leaderboard. That's also the other thing. So make sure you read the rules. Once you've read the rules, go to the challenge. And uh, yeah, so I'll just open up the challenge right now. This is the day one challenge. And it's a strings based challenge. So let's let's dive right into it. So given a string S of length N, choose any subsequence of length N minus one, which appears first in the dictionary order among other subsequences of the same length. So there are two important words here. Um, one is the dictionary and the other is subsequences. Uh, this is a typical thing where you know you would be asked uh, to sort things as per a dictionary which is nothing but lexicographically sorted and uh, a little bit understanding of that is needed it's it's basically like alphabetical order so let's say you had to uh, you know uh, sort to given words right so let's say that's a b c d and x y z obviously a b c d will come first in the dictionary and x y z will come later in the dictionary right so it's that kind of a thing but if i give you a and a b which comes first in the dictionary a comes first so the smaller length first one comes if you know if both of them are of the same uh, are starting with the same alphabet uh, till the maximum number of times so um it's a little bit common sense but you know you need to know that and uh, also uh, the other thing that needs to be known here is this thing called subsequence so let's understand uh, you know one of the, the test cases so we have the test case here a b c d a right so that's the test case we have here and uh, what's said here is if we have to choose a subsequence of n minus 1 length from this what would the subsequence be uh, and we have to choose there are multiple subsequences possible, but we have to choose that one which will come first in a dictionary or that's the first uh, that will come lexicographically sorted, right? Okay, so it's not too difficult, but uh, let's just understand the question further. So we have this thing called A, B, C, D, A, right? What do we mean by even the subsequences of A, B, C, D, A, right? So let's just, I'll just open up the slides to show you. Um, these are the subsequences of A, B, C, D, A. There is B, C, D, A, A, C, D, A, A, B, D, A, A, B, C, A, A, B, C, D. Uh, these are subsequences of length n minus 1. When we say subsequence, it means that the original order of the string has to be preserved. So, for example, like the best thing, if I were to just choose a string of length 4, because the original string is length 5, if I had to choose a string of length 4, uh, which will be lexicographically sorted, and it could, it just has to be uh, using the characters of this one. So, what I would choose is A, A, B, C, right? But I can't really do that because I can't change the relative ordering of uh, the characters within the string. I need to maintain the relative ordering of that. So this is an important term subsequence. You might get tripped up on this you know, in exam. So uh, nobody will explain it to you there. So just uh, a helpful tip here that you know subsequence means that, that you can't really just jumble up the words uh, in the given string. So you have to maintain the original order. And so what you have over here is uh, you know A, B, C, D, A, right? Is what we are uh, getting here. And uh, 
you are getting uh, so if i had to choose all of the substrings or the other subsequences with length 4 i would get b c d a a c d a that is you know uh, without b then you can check without c then you can check without d and then you can check without a at the end right so you finally get this substring uh, subsequences and of the subsequences the one that is the lexicographically to come first would be a b c a right so if you had to sort them in a dictionary uh, a b c a would be the one to come first right let's apply this to the next example and always uh, do this take another example uh, sometimes the company does not give you another example so you should take another example and try to reason why uh, this is the case which is the one right so in lm a x y z uh, the length is 6, what are all of the 5 length uh, uh, subsequences possible? So the 5 length subsequences that we have are, first is you could remove L itself, so you could have M, A, X, Y, Z, then uh, you could remove M, so you'll have L, A, X, uh, X, Y, Z, then uh, you remove A itself, so what you get is L, M, X, Y, Z, um, then you can also remove uh, X itself, so you get L, M, uh, A, Y, Z, right? So, yeah, these are all five uh, characters, yes. And then I can remove Y itself, so I get L, M, A, X, Z. And finally, I can also remove Z itself, so I get L, M, A, X, Y, right? Of all of these, which is the one that will come lexicographically first? Well, one thing we can be 100% sure of is that this one will not, because all of the ones that are starting with L will always come before the ones that are starting with uh, M, right? Because L, M, N, O, P, that's how the alphabets go. So the ones starting with M are definitely not going to come first. So we can eliminate this one, you know, right away. Um, so this we can just eliminate right away. One second. Yeah. Now we are left with this. And in this, we can very clearly see if I had to choose the next one, I would, instead of M, I would much rather choose A, right? And so the final answer for this one comes, this, this becomes the answer for us, right? That is L, A, X, Y, Z becomes the answer. So let's do this a couple of more times right let's look to get another example over here and uh, we'll start making an observation over here right so let's let's look at some other example let's uh, not take it completely at random but let's say that uh, the first few let's let's take it a b c right and uh, now with a b c i know that obviously it will be b c but let's take up a little bit more what can i add to a b c to spice it up right could i you know make it like you know um, let's say f e uh, or yeah f E D. Let's let's make it this right now. What is the subsequence that will be you know higher? So what I could do is I could you know probably remove A again. So it make it B C F E D. I could remove B. So it becomes A C F E D. Right? And automatically you know that removing B uh, is a better choice than removing A. In fact, in the, all of this, removing A is a very bad choice because if you remove A, anything on the right side, right? Uh, or rather if you remove a this next one better be a if the if the next one is not a then definitely anything starting with a will always come first in a dictionary so that's the first thing that you know you can know for sure right so that's automatically one observation we can make right let's let's continue this a c f e d uh, then you could have a f c e d and again you see that a c f e d was much better than a f uh, not sorry not f uh, sorry it should be a b f e d right yeah now what you can see is A, B, F, E, D is a much better choice than A, C, F, E, D. Why? Because we like to have B over there. It is better than its next character C, right? If the next character is just going to be further away in the alphabetical order, it's only going to spoil the order further, right? So at here, I would much rather have B than I would rather have C. So removing B is not a good option, okay? What about A, B? Um, let's keep c also but remove f and we keep ed right now this is a much better option than a b f e d why because we got e in the position of f right so we, we got to remove f but now in that position we got e and e is a higher or it will come for it will come first in a dictionary than what f will come right so we are effectively promoting characters to one step before and it only makes sense to promote a character from one position to another if it will improve it lexicographically. Otherwise, there's no point removing it, right? So one thing we've automatically got over here is the only time let's let's complete this entire thing. So let's take e, uh, let's remove E also. What we got is um, A B C F D, right? So 
we still promoted D. It's not like we didn't promote D, but this F was enough to spoil it uh, anyways, right? Because if you compare A, B, C, E, D and A, B, C, F, D, A, B, C, E, D is much better than A, B, C, F, D. So it's, it's always better to, uh, you know, uh, promote E over here. So we've got two things here. One is it is possible that or rather we want to definitely promote a character, right? Whenever we get a character towards the earlier indexes, we, we, we are bringing it back that character should actually improve the rank of my current word and that it will improve the rank only when uh, it is greater than the current character right uh, or rather it is a better ranked character than my current character so for example b moving to a will not help because b is worse ranked than a c moving to b will not help f moving to c will not help e moving to f will help right so e moving to f is definitely going to help because f is a poorly ranked compared to e and so e will improve the rank uh, over here d moving to e will help but compared to e moving to f it won't help that much because e moving to f will bring it much more uh, higher in a dictionary or much more earlier in a dictionary than d moving to e would right so take a piece of you know paper and take a pen and you know try doing this yourself you'll also make this observation so this is the observation that you know we can make right now what's the other observation so okay uh, you 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 all hear me and say that okay fine um, you know whenever we have two characters and you know if at any point uh, bringing it further uh, bringing it closer to the start is more beneficial then let's do that so for example you know uh, let's let's take another example let's take l m n uh, a b right uh, so obviously the best thing to do would be just to promote a because that's the first one which is out of order so we can just take l m a b c and this is the one that's going to be the best for us because n a is out of order and if i just bring a up till a a up till uh, n when i say out of order means that they are not uh, you know uh, a should be coming further than n in the dictionary but it's not it's coming previous so uh, we move a behind and it comes to lm abc so that we can see clearly okay fine this is what should happen but what happens in the case of a b c d e f right that means all of them are in ascending order that is none of them are out of order in that case the simplest answer for us would be that just remove f right just remove the last one because uh, in that case uh, you know it's already in sorted order so the best thing to do is to improve the rank the only thing we can do is remove the last character that's it nothing else we don't need to you know bring it forward or remove any other character so the final uh, you know solution comes down to this right traverse the string if at any point we find two characters in descending order then we have found our candidate that is the point where it's causing the descending order just remove that character and bring the next character front if we don't find such character what should we do we should remove the last character all right that's what we should do and uh, that's it it's as simple as that in fact when we write the code for it you'll also find it to be simple but that's the thing like you know this is the kind of a question where you really need to uh, you know pay a little bit attention and be in the practice of this right you can't just uh, even though like you know the kind of i'll just delete the already written solution but even though you look at the code and you'll be like oh okay i can implement this right away but when you actually try to impl uh, to get to the implementation you need to know the logic beforehand and that's what comes only with practice right so um let's look at some other things like for example uh, there were certain other approaches that i saw people try one is the brute force approach that is let's try to let's uh, try to generate all the possible uh, combinations that are n minus 1 and then see what we could have right so the problem with that approach is uh, yes let's say if you have like at best if you have like 300000 uh, uh, strings right uh, or at 300000 characters what will you have you will have 300 uh, 300000 right so you will have roughly 300000 like 2 uh, 299999 uh, right so two trip two with five nines accompanying it yeah Two with five nines accompanying it that many combinations is what you're going to have because you'll keep removing one by one each one of them right so um, no you'll actually end up having 300,000 combination itself right okay but your point my point is it's like a lot of combinations that you will have and there's no point in actually uh, let's say you get all of those combinations right you get all of the subsequences rather once you got the get the subsequences you'll have to actually sort them and sorting if you know is order n login uh, n login we will mostly not have the time to do in this case so that will be difficult plus act because once you have to get all of these strings 
and then sort those strings right so that's going to be a big headache for you so yeah not at all advisable to do it the brute force way there are some cases you will see i can myself tell you that in the next uh, few daily challenges you might find one or two questions where the brute co brute force is possible but not really possible over here so i'll do it in python it's a short code in python but really it's a, such a simple code you could do it in c plus plus java also it won't really matter much so the first line of input is the input itself uh, that is the uh, the length of the string and we don't really need it in python but you know we have to take it because uh, it's a uh, it's part of the input so do a uh, string is equal to input and what we're going to do is uh, we'll go through this entire string and we'll try to find that point where we have to change it or that is we have to remove it right so uh you know what we can call that as uh, is a uh, change we'll keep that character as uh you know change is equal to uh, is, you know just a blank string because uh sorry not a blank string change is equal to minus one this is the index at which we are supposed to change it and what we'll do is for index uh or you can just do for idx in the range uh, that's just a variable name, but uh, you will find this a lot that, you know, instead of writing IDX, instead of writing index, you'll end up writing IDX, uh, just a short form. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the entire string, right? And uh, we are going to check whether if uh, S of IDX is greater than S of IDX uh, plus one. This means that it is not in ascending order if this is the case then change is equal to idx so we know that the change is idx that is this is the uh, index that we are supposed to remove completely so change is idx if it is not then you keep going forward we don't have any issue right at that point now the uh, one uh, edge case here also is if i want to check s i of idx greater than s of idx plus one idx plus one needs to exist that means I cannot go till the last character. I have to go with the last but one character, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to length of n uh, s minus one, right? Not all the way to length of s. And I'll check now if change is uh, greater than or equal to zero. That means we have found our answer. So let's keep answer also as uh, answer is equal to some blank string. And we say that answer is equal to, uh, we have to remove that particular element, right? So we have to remove that element. Uh, and so we'll take the substring from um, s from the starting till uh, change but we don't want to include change so we'll do plus s of change change plus one all the way up till the end right that's what we're going to do um, else we didn't find the index it means that the complete uh, list is in an ascending order and if the complete list is in an ascending order what we should do is remove the last one right so if you want to remove the last one in python how you would do it is s minus one right so i'm going to take the entire substring except for the last part so that's what it is so answer is equal to s up to minus one and we just print answer that's what it is so roughly about like what 10 lines code 17 lines code right um Let's run and check whether that works out for us. Okay, that worked out. Um, let's see if uh, we made any mistake, any time limit exceeded or so. Right, okay. Our output didn't match. So there's a wrong answer somewhere. We probably made a small mistake uh, in taking this uh, answer over here. Let me just check what is the possible mistake that we could have made. Uh, it's up until s to change if s of index is greater than s of index minus one it's plus one change is equal to index um, change is equal to minus one okay we first take change is minus one uh, and uh, if change so we take s up until change plus s of change plus one all the way up till the end right and uh, else answer is equal to s of this and we print the answer Hmm. change here is minus one change is equal to index of s minus one okay i'm not really sure where we possibly gone wrong but yeah we have gone wrong somewhere uh let me just submit and check because the logic is correct um yeah i'm probably making a very stupid mistake so just bear with me over here um hold on All the way to change. Okay.
so here we are removing the last alphabet right if okay if s of index is greater than s of index plus one change is equal to idx that's correct um, this is the part that we are supposed to change that is we are not supposed to include this and then which is supposed to include from here um, take this right uh, we have not break broken here right so we should break as well sorry for that one that's a simple mistake from my side should just break um, yeah so hopefully uh, we'll keep this uh, in the video itself just to show you how a very simple mistake can cost you as well so what happened here is we were continuously checking till the end we should break at the point where we found the first index to be greater uh, than the next index so yeah i mean uh, a very silly mistake but i think a, a mistake that a lot of you might have made as well uh, so yeah you break and i'll just explain what this break means over here so for example if we have two places right so as we were discussing you have these two places where it's possible so for example if it was something like a b c d e f right uh, or other uh, a b c uh, f e d right so we have two places where we can change it it could either be a b c e d right removing f or you could do a b c um, f you could remove yeah sorry a b c f d right both of them work in our previous solution we were choosing a b c f d rather than choosing a b c e d and uh, so that was a the case we were missing and so it passed in some cases it didn't pass in the other cases silly mistakes happen uh, as you saw even with me it happens but the key is how do you keep going through the entire solution and figuring out the answer and so yeah uh, the next challenge will launch tomorrow uh, everybody just remember that this is the link you're supposed to go to it starts every day at 6 pm and by 9 pm you have the solution wishing you all the best for the next challenge uh, and um, yeah all the best uh, this was day one the order uh, a previous amazon question tomorrow stay tuned for more exciting questions as well all the best everybody and i'll see you all tomorrow thank you